Okay, chappies, welcome back to our in-depth look at the uh, 1 scale Star Wars Power of the Force uh, toy line from the mid to late 1990s. Uh, we're up to Wave 2 now, and this time we're going to look at what I believe was the first uh, Return of the Jedi uh, product uh, made for this uh, Power of the Force 2 toy line. This is the Imperial Speeder Bike with a Scout Trooper pilot, and if you uh, had the vintage speeder bike from Kenner from 1983, or if you're a, a vintage collector, you will instantly recognize that this is the exact same toy. It's, uh, this is the exact same mold used in 1983 with just a fresh new coat of paint on it. And the design really holds up. Even today, uh, this design holds up. It's all here. We've got the spring-loaded landing gear with the little flaps attached to them that move up and down with it. We've got the rotating uh, blaster turret on the bottom. This is often missing when you find these loose uh, out in the wild at yard sales or on eBay or whatever. And we've got the three segmented parts of the speeder bike, uh, which you uh, fit together. It locks into place, and then you press this little button on the back, it all flies apart, simulating being hit by the blast of an ATST or smacking into a redwood tree, just like in uh, Return of the Jedi. The um, handlebars are movable, but the way this figure is uh, designed, uh, it's, it's fine to just leave them right where they are. Folks, it's all here. It's just got a, a new coat of paint on it. It's the exact same design as the, uh, or pretty close at very least, as the uh, vint vintage Kenner uh, speeder bike. I'm sure more modern speeder bikes improve on this design, uh, but... I tell you what, this, this still does really hold up. Now, do consider that the, this segment is made out of a softer plastic uh, than the other two, so this is often damaged uh, on the secondary market. You know, sometimes this is just snapped off entirely or missing entirely, uh, so keep that in mind as well. Now, this one was sealed in package, so I had the uh, uh, opportunity to apply the stickers for the very first time. Did a pretty good job here. These are different stickers than the ones that came with the Millennium Falcon and the X-Wing and the uh, KSE Fire Spray. And instead of made out of paper, it's more the uh, plastic stickers that we're used to today. So these stay on much, much, much better. And uh, they did a good job with the airbrushing on this to simulate some of the scorching and to make it look more, just like the Star Wars universe, more worn. Uh, that's the appeal a lot of people have the store the Star Wars over Star Trek. It's 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 a dirty galaxy, the Star Wars galaxy, as opposed to Star Trek, where everything is is clean. And uh, I like both franchises, if if, if anyone cares. But uh, again, I think I've gushed on about this speeder bike uh, long enough. Uh, there's also a spring here in this part, which was designed to seat the vintage. Scout Trooper in place to keep him from falling off. That's not necessary with this one because of the way he sculpted. This is very different than the uh, Return of the Jedi Scout Trooper. It's a completely new figure. And I, I do have to say it looks ridiculous on display off the speeder bike when you just stand him up because of the wide stance there on the, uh, the, the legs back there. Uh, now, the knees are articulated. These have movable jointed knees, so you can put them back rather than have them sticking straight out the way you had to with the uh, the vintage Scout Trooper. Now, technically, they should be touching these little things right here, but that's just not how this works uh, with this figure. It just won't reach. He uh, manipulates the handlebars well enough, and I also want to point out that instead of t being able to turn the head side to side, which I can't do with this, and I'm not going to force it. I don't want to risk breaking it. Uh, he can pivot up and down rock back and forth like this. He can say yes, but he cannot say no. And I don't know if that was a design choice uh, or, you know, you just wanted to have him look down. You can probably lean him forward a little better. Now, observe how his arms are sculpted. I don't know how much more forward. I mean, you'd have to you'd have to put his hands above his head and, and recal and put the uh, handlebars in this way to get him to lean forward any, any further. But it looks great on display, pal. And you, you're going to want to display the Scout Trooper on the speeder bike because, well, for two reasons. Number one, he looks ridiculous standing up, and he doesn't stand up very well regardless. And number two, no peg holes in the feet on this figure. I think the manufacturers knew that this would look ridiculous off the speeder bike as well, so they didn't even bother putting holes in the feet on this one. But it, again, it looks terrific uh, on display. Happy to have this one in the collection. Didn't pay a lot for this. Um, 
This is one of the cheaper vehicles available in the Power of the Force 2 line on the secondary market today. Those can get pricey, and there's people out there trying to sell this one for big bucks. I got this one sealed in, sealed in package for about 10 bucks. So uh, I would not uh, encourage viewers to go out and spend a lot for this one unless you really, really, really want it and can't find it for a, a, a good price. Uh, you could probably find a vintage speeder bike for less than than what some of these are going for on the secondary market. So be wary, okay? But all in all, it's an excellent toy, and it's, it's a no-brainer to include in this Power of the Force 2 line. And uh, they, this was uh, re-released a couple times with different pilots. There was a Luke Skywalker in indoor gear speeder bike, and there was a Princess Leia in indoor gear speeder bike. There was also another speeder bike with an Imperial pilot with his gimmick with a rip cord and a wheel on the bottom i have no interest in that one that's that's too gimmicky for me uh, i think this one is, is much, this one would be more fun to play with looks more screen accurate and uh, displays better than one that has a wheel beneath it so there you go pals that's uh, the uh, imperial speeder bike with a scout trooper pilot thank you so much for watching may the force be with you talk to you soon